Hello everyone, my name is Crafty Simmer and welcome back to the Black Widow Challenge. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are actually doing our condolence visit. So everyone has come over to, you know, give their condolences to the family who just lost H. So she's going to go ahead here and she is going to let people, she's going to invite no trespassing. Oh, very nice. I can disallow people now? What? Since when? I love it. Okay. I love it. Alrighty, anyways, though, we're just going to go ahead and invite all of our friends in. Just so that way then we can have our, our, our visits together with everyone. Everyone is so sad. Oh. I know, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. Alright, so now there are some very special... Very special, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Very thank for coming. There we go. We're going to thank everyone for coming. For coming to visit us in our time of need. Because it's just been so very upsetting. He's These two aren't even here for the freaking condolence visit. I just have the ladies here. And I mean like... Nali and Lona are actually both mermaids, so you know it's fine. What is she doing? That was oh, she might actually be a friendly. <laughs> Everyone's so depressed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyways, though, I actually kind of want to know her job, but oh. Oh my goodness, that was so mean! Oh my goodness, like she's not that- like she's not even like... Wow, that was so rude. Alright. Where is- oh, he's actually taking a nap. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave him there for a little bit then. Until about, you know, like... So, well, she's almost time for dinner, so... Alright, so I'm going to have him grab a serving. And then we're probably going... Oh, there isn't a front door here. That's why, everyone. <laughs> Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't worry. I figured it out. I figured out why people are coming over this way and not coming through this way. Because, like, there's no front door here. <laughs> so this front door. That was really tilting me. What the heck is she carrying? It's like a half-finished thing of food. Oh my god. Okay, that's tea. What does she even have? She's just gonna cook it on her freaking stove. What's happening? Oh, that tilts me. I don't know what she's doing here. But it seems like, though, that she's here to, you know, recognize the lost. Oh, and he just met his sibling and he's not thrilled about it. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna get him to go potty, though. Before, you know, he uses his diaper himself. Yeah, he's not too- oh, too soon from condolence visit. Some friends and family came in for the condolences visit, but it's too soon for Kale. He is still in the very first stages of grief, grief and would prefer to be alone right now. Oh. Everyone is so sad because, because I guess, like, everyone decided to kind of show up too early for the family, and that just kind of breaks my heart, I'm not gonna lie. Like, everyone is so, like, she is not thrilled about these people being here. No. <laughs> Neither is Kale. Kale is, like, not, is not at all, all about this. 
As well, too, if you guys have noticed, we actually did make the move over into, um, oh, what is it? I can't even remember anymore. Newcrest. We moved it to Newcrest, so that way then, you know, the family can have a quiet life, and she can kind of, you know, like, not be surrounded by prying eyes all the time. So, yeah, but clearly, though, you know, it's not always that quiet. So, I guess there is that. I guess Clement's enjoying some taco salad. Ta ca taco casserole. And then Kale's gonna come down when he's finished. Using his little potty. That he's gonna come downstairs and then he's going to go and enjoy some of the food that was brought for the little party. Oh, I mean, they, they must just feel awful. And then tomorrow is love day, and the, and the twins' birthdays, so I can only imagine just how, like, just how, like, I don't know, just like, just how, like, Eva is, because, like, this is a lot happening at one point. And I feel like that, like, she could be a little bit stressing out right now, because, you know, I mean, the fact that, like, she did basically kill off her husband. And now everyone's here just to give them, just to like give her the support that she does not deserve. <sighs> Anyways though, I think though what I'm gonna actually get him to do though, because you know, since people are here, I'm actually gonna get him to go around and give a cheerful in introduction. Because I feel like that he really doesn't give a flying F about this guy. Um, like, I mean, you know, like, I mean, like, he is the new man, so <laughs> he's just over here, and I feel like he would be definitely playing the field to secure his politician votes. Because I would like him to get the promotion, and then we can get the bonus that he gets for his promotion before he dies. So, we are definitely needing to do that. Oh, no, never mind, he's actually sad. Oh, darn it. Did you not just do a cheerful introduction to him? Oh, he might be too sad. He might be too sad. Political career. <gasps> yes, we can secure a vote. Oh no! Is in is I'm, is not convinced. Ugh. You still must be. We're sorry to have bothered you. Yes, we are all very bothered by the entire thing. You are correct about that. Thank you for leaving. Goodbye. It must be my phone going off. Ugh. Jeez, now everyone's just gone, just like that. Wow, how rude. Alright, so now that Kale is actually done, and Victor's done in the bath, I mean, is, in, is done on the toilet, we're actually going to go ahead here and give Kale some time for like a little bath and stuff, and then we're probably going to put him upstairs for bed. And then I'm actually going to get Victor to go upstairs to go see the twins. I think they're probably ready to be fed, to be bottle fed, so I'm going to let him go upstairs and do just that. And then I'm just going to have Eva definitely take care of Mr. Kale and give him like a quick little sh give him like a quick little bath. And then we're going to tuck him into bed. How long? Okay, you're okay. You're still pretty okay. I'm just going to just kind of cheat up your emotions a little bit. Oh no, they're both stinky. Oh, that actually kind of changes everything. Change dirty diaper, change dirty diaper. <laughs> and then we'll figure that out from there. Yes, we're we got you fixed, there, girl. We got you fixed. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, so like everyone came over and they all gave us their little condolence visits, and. And I mean, like, definitely it was a very off event, because I mean, like, 
Eva's trying her best. Eva's trying her best to kind of play it off that, like, she's actually distraught about the entire thing. And, and it really is not that easy. I'm actually gonna get him to, like, clean up down here, too. Oh, he actually might need something else, too. Shoot. Bottle feed him. Because I'm gonna get Eva to take care of Kale for the night by reading him to sleep. And then, I lied. I lied, I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> I can clean up the mess down here. Don't worry about that. You can go upstairs and take care of the baby. And then I'm gonna have Eva take care of Kale by putting him into the bed. And then I think today too, we're also gonna get, we're also gonna squeeze in a little date between Victor and Eva, so that way then we can definitely push things along. Um, which will be tomorrow. For love day, they're gonna go on like a date. Eva's just gonna go ahead and finish reading a book. And he's gonna go to bed. I am really hoping now they won't actually, like... What are they doing? I don't get it. What are they doing? No. Stop. 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 Okay, fine. Oh, let me just go to bed because like this- I like I don't want you going all the way downstairs just to read them a book. Nuh-uh. Just go right to bed, Eva. Like, you're tired. <laughs> if that's gonna be too much for you, just go to bed. There. Much easier. Much easier. Oh, you guys still can't sleep in the same bed. Alright. Um. T -t 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 Let's get a computer going. I don't want to spend too much on our computer right now, so we're just gonna throw this one up here. And then I am going to just. Um go into MC settings so that way then we can get this like all fixed up here. MCCC settings, relationship settings. Um No. Gameplay settings. All right, well, anyways, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead here and I am going to go ahead and um, skip over to when they started our date, so that way then, you know, like, we're not sitting here while I'm trying to figure this out, so I'll see you all there. Alrighty, so we have returned back to the household with Victor back home, and we actually just got a call from the medical examiner, so we can actually plan the funeral. Um, so we're actually gonna do that first and call the funeral home. We're going to do a cremation. <laughs> All right, so now Eva needs to plan the memorial service. So then what we're going to do is that tomorrow we'll go ahead and add that event and we'll do a memorial service. There we go. Eva will be the Eva will be the one. Along with Victor, Kale, Jasminder, Katrina, and we're just going to just invite everyone that we know besides Caleb. And then we'll do it at our residence since we really don't need anything else and it's a Saturday so we can start at 12 p.m. There we go. <laughs> And then we'll have a memorial service, so, for our dearly beloved H, who we killed, it's fine. Everything is fine. Don't yell at him, my goodness. <sighs> Anyways, though. Now, because it is actually, we're going to enable the emotional aura of the painting, so that way then we can actually... 
and it'll, it'll get them both really, really flirty. No, you need to be flirty. There we go. Uh oh. Wait, what? He's already dazed? Ugh, really? Oh my god, okay. Well then, we're just going to be romantic. And we're going to... Um, oh my god. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead here and just kind of start off with like a very... Just kind of like a very, um... And since you know they're already flirty, then we can get going. Plus two, apparently Victor's freaking drunk. He's a sloppy drunk. So we're just going to pretend that he's okay. Oh, come on. I just want to get out of here there, guys. And then we can worry, and then we can just send someone else to take care of the babies. <laughs> like, Eva needs a night out. That's all she really needs, is away from these kids. Because, like, Sierra is so beyond needy. Um, like, I, like, I swear to God, I swear to God that there's, like, different temperaments in this game. For, for, like, for, like, the babies. And it drives me crazy some days. Alright, let's go ahead, though. Let's head over to the spa. Alrighty, here is the spa. Bah! And then we sent them all to daycare, so that way then we can actually, you know, do our thing. So we're gonna sit over here t oh wait. That's right, we probably do want to do that, don't we? Maybe. Um, yeah, they probably want to actually go ahead and change into a robe or something. Yeah. So, correction, I'm gonna let them get changed into their ropes and stuff. Oh? Is that a... Nope. She can change to a rope in that bathroom. She's just being weird. That's cool. And then we have, like, machines here that we can do... Workouts on... What else do we have in here? Like, I really wanted her to, like... You know, have, like, a nice little... Have, like, a nice little relaxing spa day with... with uh, Well, a spa night with Victor. Hey, Victor. No. Don't chat with her, follow Eva, because you guys are going to go and have a little conversation. And have... I mean, after all, it is love day, so love day tends to be a little easier to get things going. Alrighty, they're both here now. So... <laughs> We're gonna be romantic. We're gonna compliment his appearance, and like, that's really what I want her to do out here. And like, of course, like, just really just kind of get it going with him. Victor. Stop with the autonomy. And then I think we might actually go and get them a spa treatment upstairs or something. Like, down here is like a big pool. Oof. But I think the what I want to do is that I actually want them to request a foot massage. And then I'm going to get her to request a foot massage from Zoe. When she's done flirting with Victor. And we'll go from there. <sighs> or maybe we'll just get going with the foot massage. 
forget Victor, and he can go and talk with... Oh, no, 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 no. No, you need to go and get a foot massage with, with, uh, with, with like, Missy over there. And hopefully you guys can talk. Will they come down soon? I don't know where they... I don't know where they are. I guess they're not going to. I guess they changed their mind. So I actually wonder if they can just get in together instead. And just enjoy a nice, uh, <laughs> and just enjoy a nice soak in the hot tub today instead. There we go. There we go. No, you do not need to go and grab a robe every single time. <laughs> There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about here. And then Eva is just going to go ahead here. She's going to whisper sweet nothings into his ear. And we're going to... What else are we going to do? We're going to... Compliment his outfit. And just kind of keep going like that. <laughs> and just like really like letting things just kind of go from there. <laughs> Cause like I really want them to socialize like this. Heartfelt compliment. Like this is all I really want to do is to just, you know, like get him to like... More, we're going to blow a kiss. And be romantic. Compliment his lean body. And then we're just going to kind of really just kind of push it with him, honestly. Because I feel like that would be kind of her thing. <laughs> Actually, I really feel like that'll be kind of her thing. No, you do not need to get a freaking robe. Just stay in there together. Oh my god, Victor. I think this is, a, this is like the worst thing about like the whole like spa packs and stuff is that, you know, they are quite insistent that they need to be in a robe the entire time that they're here, which they don't. <sighs> All right. And then, we're just going to keep flirting here. I am invited. Victor was invited to an event. No way. Okay, so apparently, we still need to sit together. <laughs> Even though we've been talking with him the entire time. We love that. <laughs> but they said they're enjoying themselves at the very least. I mean, like, I could imagine just how, like, done she was. I mean, like, yeah, no, like, Sierra has been, like, non stop on, um, on, um, on Eva. <laughs> With the crying, so like every like, I don't know, like it feels like every like some hour or something she needs something different. It's like, okay, like I can't even like keep track of what she needs anymore. Because normally it's pretty easy to like keep track of what they need. Except for Eve, except for Sierra. Mm -mm. Sierra, Sierra's been very, uh, Sierra's been very, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to talk to our date. So we're going to ask about day. 
He's itchy. That's not a good sign. <sighs> what are you complaining about, Eva? And I think what we're gonna go ahead and do here. Let's just be romantic. We're gonna do a first kiss. And we're just gonna go from there. Like, I mean, like... Can we, like, we can't even do anything with the showers. Like, dang it. Oh, and now I just got a notification for the twins' birthday. Because that's a thing. Hopefully they do it, though. Nope. Which means we're going to try again with the first kiss. Sometimes it cancels it out. I don't know why, it just does. There we go. <gasps> and we've already made the move. Alrighty. And it and just like that, it is on on on. <laughs> So we're just going to go ahead here, take a little picture. There we go. Now I mean like, was that the most amazing date? Not really. Do I think though that they enjoyed themselves? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they are definitely enjoying themselves. Victor just invited her into the hot tub for a little woohoo session. We love that for them. <laughs> They're gonna snuggle up, have a little kiss. Victor's gonna go ahead and just pull her right in. I just realized this might get her pregnant again. <laughs> I did not think about that. Oofles. <gasps> Will it happen? Who knows? <laughs> oh <laughs> so yeah they are definitely it's definitely on with these two alrighty so we are definitely moving in on our plan with Victor and hopefully during the during the um during the memorial tomorrow, we can maybe get some things going on with Victor and getting his promotion because I would really, really like to get him a promotion before we kill him off so that way then we can get his bonus from him. Alright, so anyways there guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's part. I, for one... Oh! I just did something. What did I just do? I just did something. I just wanted to figure out how I can get his task done, but apparently I made it finished. Yeah, alright. Anyways, there, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I think we're just gonna go ahead here. And just to finish off this episode, we're actually gonna see if we can secure a vote with Miss Eva. <laughs> Try to promote policies or make empty promises to increase the likelihood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> totally wasn't into it. Alrighty, anyways there guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next part, in the next video, whatever happens next. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye there guys.